Hey guys, today we're gonna modify your Hammer of Wrath to one-shot anyone. To empower a hammer this much, we're going to use a large number of modifiers, 
including world buffs. The standard buffs we're going to use are our Vending Wrath and Seraphim, as well as Strength Consumables. We will be protection for this, since their Hammer of Wrath has the highest scaling out of all the three Paladin specs. Even as protection, we're going to use a two-handed weapon for a small amount of extra damage. As for Legendaries, we're actually going to use two Legendaries at the same time, at least when we plan to use the combat range. The Legendary of Dusk and Dawn can be stacked up and then unequipped, but you will still keep the damage bonus. After we stacked it up, we're going to change to the Mad Paragon, for a 30% damage boost to Hammer. As for Covenant and Soulbinds, Winter is a must for this, since her Ash and Hollow increase Hammer of Wrath damage by another 100%. Ash and Hollow will also add a lot of damage with the Conduit, Hallowed Discernment, as well as the Teotar bonus, Wasteland Propriety. Talking about Teotar, the world buff we'll obtain is from the Winter Assault in the Maw. Do keep in mind it's not always active, since it rotates between different covenants. You start the quest at T for every occasion. Afterwards, when you enter two bins, you need to sell cast a T buff for yourself. It's a 5 minute duration buff that grants you 25% damage and health. It persists almost anywhere, including BGs. As for the two ways through the combo, the range preparation one is that you prepare the legendary of Dusk and Dawn, as well as the PvP proc trinket. This trinket will just like the legendary work even if you unequip it. After you got them both proc'd, equip the Mad Paragon legendary and another PP trinket with baseline strength. Then use all your CDs and power ups, use Ash and Hollow on the enemy, wait a second and use Hammer of Wrath to time it use as Ash and Hollow ticks. This usually does about 40k or more damage, if Hammer Wrath crits as well. The other way to do the combo is to skip the strength potion and use a nutcracker grenade. You can be in combat beforehand when you do this, since you won't be using the Dusk and Dawn legendary. You will use both Blinding Light and Hammer of Justice if you need, to bait the enemy trinket. Then simply use Ash and Hollow, followed by Nutcracker and the Hammer of Wrath at the same time. This does more damage overall, but it takes longer to prepare. It isn't as viable as an ambush strategy, since Nutcracker has a long cast time. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more. <gasps> so no, yeah, no, perfect. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Just chill in the back line and just watch how scared mm -hmm. I am. Do you have a trinket? I'm gonna test this. If it... This alliance may be out. No, I drink it. Oh my. <laughs> Come here, I'm not tracking it. I'm RNG. I got him, I got him. Boom! Oh, oh throw shadow. Fuck. Wait, I'm gonna go grip him. Kill him, just kill him, it's too late. I should not do it. Get him right. Boom! 20k eating crit. <laughs> Just kill him. Ah! You got him! <laughs> what? I didn't do anything, what the fuck?